Sinister Chili here, back with a soft review, and this is for Squid Vomit. That's squidvomit.com. And I actually have all three of their sauces to try, little convenient sampling sizes. But today, I figured I would just start off with hottest and then, or sorry, the mildest and then go to the hottest. Uh, I haven't heard. I've heard some good things about this, and I was actually pretty excited to try it, just from hearing other people try it. I'm not, uh, as you can see, the, there's no ingredients on it, though. So, basically, uh, it's a little bit harder for me to pick out flavors without an actual ingredient list. I mean, it's a little bit easier when you're sitting there actually looking at it and reading through it, because then you can pick out the flavor notes. But I'll do my best, and this is actually... It's a, a hoisin sauce, and this is actually the first hoisin sauce I've had, so I don't really have any others to compare with, but I had a little bit of this, and it was really good. And the new addition is this. I will be doing sauce reviews from the shot glass for a couple reasons. One, I never get enough taste nor enough to gauge heat accurately with a spoon, so I figured this would be my best shot at doing exactly what I said. And honestly, it's just, that's my style. Uh, everyone likes to be nice and etiquette with a little spoon and stuff, but that's not how I, I do my sauces. I don't tablespoon sauces onto my food. And I'm not going to tablespoon a sauce review anymore. So, as you can see, it's got a nice little consistency. I believe it has, he's using um, sweet potatoes as a base now, and it's got pepper in it, and I believe soy sauce. Um, not too much. Beyond that, I'm not too sure, but here we go. Mm. It's good. It's got a little bit of the crunch from the onions, and you can taste the black pepper. It's nice because like the sauce is uh, nice and liquidy, but it's got chunks in there, so it gives it texture. You taste the soy. Honestly, this is probably a little bit too low on the heat scale for me to detect, unfortunately. For an average person, maybe, uh, it might be, um, mild to medium. Um, yeah, I really like the sauce. It's, uh, 8 out of 10 on flavor, and, like I said, unfortunately, I can't taste the heat. But for an average person, I, like I said, I would probably say they'd gauge this as a mild or medium. For me, no heat. we go again and that's once again squidvomit.com great sauce I recommend it to anyone that's uh, wanting to try a unique hot sauce and that's what it is a unique hot sauce thank you for watching